going on guys hope you're doing awesome freaking possum welcome to kingdom 80s summer of greed the brand new entry into the kingdom series of games guys anyway we're gonna start we're gonna probably do it harder difficulty than normal let's do hard since we are a kingdom veteran after all and let's jump right in shall we Episode 1, A Summer at Camp Kingdom. <laughs> Alright, we got some little greedlings stealing a canoe. Alright, there they go. I guess, are we supposed to get that back? Ooh. I've been looking for you. You have the bloodline of the monarchs. How do I know? You must take the crown of creation. What if I don't want it? Alright, fine. That, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Let's follow this little ghost girl. See what she's all about, baby. All right. Just like the previous games, we got to set up our camp. We can recruit two little kids. Oh, baby. All right. We're going to put these kids to work. All right. Just like the previous games, we can give them bows. So they can hunt for coins and defend the front lines from the evil greedlings. Look at that. He just slaughtered that cute, adorable furry little animal of the forest. I love it. All right, we got child labor. I am digging it, dude. We can recruit builder kids as well. All right, little girl. We're gonna have you do some construction, some hard labor. You're gonna learn some good skills for the future, for life. All right, let's have her construct this wall, shall we? This will keep the greed out during nighttime when they come and attack during waves. This guy is hard. Man, this kid is this kid is an ace. Okay, I'm not able to proceed. I'm blocked by that structure. All right. We can also cut down trees just like before. Dude, these kids what what can't these kids do, guys? These kids are amazing, incredible. They must have had some good father figures in their lives cuz they certain certainly didn't learn all these schools at or these skills at school. They certainly didn't learn these skills at school. All right, we can recruit two kids. Oh, stop stealing that girl. All right, so instead of little vagrant dudes out in camps, we got kids out of little areas. All right, we can get some more bows for the little bros. Get some hammers for our little girls. We can call home. What does this do? We're using a payphone. Old school. I have to find a way to get back there. If only the roads weren't blocked. Maybe I can get the canoe back and follow the river home. All right, so we called back home, but mom and dad weren't there. Looks like our objective is to get the canoe to get back home. Nice. And some help from a friend. Is that another kid? Working on a little, like, uh, ranger tower? Oh, got another kid over there as well on some kick-ass jungle gym, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely played on one or two of those as a kid myself. Those were the days when parents didn't hold your hands and things weren't regulated as much. It was great. It was good stuff. All right, we can boost on our bike to go faster. You can also pop a wheelie if you double tap shift. That's cool. All right, we got a big-ass tent right here. Not sure what that's going to do. All right, let's start clearing out more trees. 
Dropping down this beautiful, lush forest park area, baby. Get it out of here. All right, our little builder children are gonna, <laughs> gonna go take care of that. I love it, I love it. All right, these kids are learning some great skills, man. Honestly, it's probably a good thing that the greed invaded, took these kids out of school because they're gonna learn more from me in one summer than they would learn in 10 years from public school, without a doubt. You can bet your money on that. All right, we can ride over here now. We're no longer blocked. The tutorial is over. Oh my God, Timmy. Oh, Tim Tim. He is doing some real hunting work out here, guys. He is slaying all the cute little furry, fuzzy little animals of the forest. What a champ, what a badass. All right, we got this, is this a chick? Senorita. What's going on here? Hammering away, baby. Her name's Tinkerer. Saw you coming a mile away. Nice moves. Want my help leaving this place? I won't come down till it's safe for me, though. Alright, so she'll team up with us if we can make it safe to get down. So it looks like we need... It's locked by something. By It looks like a cone. I'm guessing the cones, the little orange safety cones, are where you build walls at, it looks like. So it looks like we have to probably build a wall on the outside of her tower, so then she's safe to come down. All right, no problem, baby. Should I be calling her baby? She's probably not 18. I probably shouldn't be calling her baby. <laughs> That's just the way I talk, baby. All right, we got tons of money. We are ex exploiting these kids to the max. It's okay, they love it, they love it. You can tell they're having a good time. All right, we got a wall right there. We can upgrade the camp a little bit. Let's, uh, are there any more? Oh, there is a kid right there. They're the little kids are kind of hard to spot. Is there another one over here? Okay, so there was only one kid to hire for the moment. Let's get a full rack of bows for the little bros. There's a weird delay on the on the purchasing of the bows. It's kind of strange. There's like a one or two second delay in between them compared to the previous games where you could just purchase them almost immediately one after another. Kind of kind of weird. Don't know why they did that. Slows down the game a bit. Kind of feels a little little weird, a little cattywampus. But that's all right. We're going to keep on pressing forward. Ooh, look at that beautiful landscape in the background, you guys. I'm just noticing it for the first time. All right, so the little archers have, like, little feathers on their hats, it looks like. And the builders have little uh, yellow hard hats. I like it, I like it. All right, it's nighttime, so the greed should be coming after me. With a little wimpy kitty wave. Let's see. Where are they? There they are. All right, here they come. Four, four of them? Not a problem. Bring it. I'm ready. Slay them. Lay them. Dude, the, these kids are deadly. You know, normally I would say it's not a good idea to give small children lethal weaponry. But in this case, I think it's a good idea. I think it's not only a good idea. It's the best idea. All right, let's try to lead this innocent little deer, this... Little homie of the forest. Let's try to lead him back to have those little kids slaughter him. Come on. Do it. Shoot his ass. Lay him out. Yeah, go on, little buddy. Go to your demise. Shoot him. Shoot him. All right. <laughs> Looks like my archers are probably on the other side. Hopefully they get him. Usually the, the deers take two or three hits. Usually I think three hits from the arrows. Oh, come on, you son of a biscuit. All right, it's day number deuce. All right, we got another building, a tent that's locked. We need to expand over this away. Mark some more trees for demolition. And these kids, these kids know how to do everything. Construction workers, lumberjacks, archers. They know how to gut skin animals. What can't these kids do, guys? Something tells me they're gonna be able to do a lot more as well. Something tells me these kids are next level. All right, we got another spot where we can hire 
or well recruit small children there's another one right here but we ran out of coins is there a coin box we can find over here here's this guy we need another coin to talk to him though Oh, there's another little cabin as well, with little kiddos. Just waiting, waiting to join my crew. Oh, there is a coin chest out here, beautiful, just like in the previous games of the series. All right, let's regain some stamina. What is he drinking there? Is that water or is it soda pop? I like to think it's soda pop. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna OD on sugar. All right, we just recruited two more little kids. Oh, dude, look at the little animals. There's like a bunny and a raccoon. I think it's a raccoon or is it a cat? And they're both covered with some of the purple slime of the greed. Interesting. All right, we got another, we got another little kid. She's gonna go head back to base. Probably pick up a bow, join the bros. Let's chop down that tree as well. All right, the sun is descending in the sky rather quickly here. Little Bobby, the builder, is going to go head out to get that tree. Not a problem, not a problem. Oh, thanks, Sally. Appreciate it, girl. I'll tell your parents how good of a job you did here at camp this summer. They'll be real proud of you. Real proud of you. All right, we got another little kid. I like to think these kids look up to me, you know? Like an older brother of sorts. But I'm also their boss. Their gang leader. A lot of things wrapped into one. Alright, let's go back to the safety of our walls for the night. And then tomorrow, we're gonna try to start expanding. All right, sounds like I'm tuckered out. Let's get a little drink of that. Sweet RC Cola, baby. Not a sponsor, by the way. <laughs> oh, a, another kid came out. Cool. So it actually does a little animation for the door of these little of these little cabins for the kids coming out. That's cool. Helps you kind of see when the when there's another one ready. I like it. I like it. All right, let's start expanding over here, shall we, guys? Let's get up to the next wall defensive position right here at that cone. It looks like there's a fishing shack right there. Let's mark some more trees for demolition. So I'm curious, you guys. So in the previous Kingdom games. If you chopped down a tree on either side of the Vagrant Camp, the Vagrant Camp would disappear. But that doesn't seem to be the case for the little kid cabins in this game. That's kind of cool. So I, I'm i assuming that I'm safe to chop down as many trees as I want. Without worrying about the repercussions. Let's get some more trees going here. Let's upgrade this wall one time. So yeah, if you guys have never seen the previous Kingdom games, well, I mean, what are you doing with your life? But uh, if you haven't, you can upgrade your walls to different tiers. You can also construct uh, archer towers. At least I assume you can in this game as well, which you can then upgrade to different tiers as well. And as you saw me do earlier on at the beginning, you can upgrade your camp, which allows you to upgrade your uh, your walls and towers to different tiers as well. And it also unlocks different abilities for your people. All right, see, in order to upgrade our camp another time, it looks like we need that kid, that other boy with the red and white jacket, in order to upgrade any further. You know what, let's get a nether builder. Since we are chopping down quite a few trees here. You got some money for me? Oh, Bob. My man, my boy. What a good guy. What a good kid. These, these kids are great, man. See, this is back in the day when kids actually wanted to work during the summer, you know? They'd go around, mow their neighbor's lawns, 
do odd jobs, deliver newspapers. What happened to that work ethic, guys? What happened to it? It's gone. It disappeared, it vanished. Now kids are just staring at their screens, playing video games like Kingdom, instead of working out there. <laughs> all right, let's talk to this guy, see what he's all about. How's it going down there? Want me to help you with that canoe? Yeah, maybe I could, except uh, with all this weird stuff going on, I'm not so sure myself. I might not look like it, but I'm a regional rowing champion and, you know, don't laugh, but uh, I think if I could just hold that trophy again, I'd get that confidence back. All right, this guy's name is Champ. He's got a little bit of a confidence problem here. He wants to get his trophy back before he'll help me. What the heck? All right, let's go recruit a couple more kiddos. It is nighttime, so hopefully little uh, Cindy here can make it back to base in time. She's got those tiny, stubby little legs. She's not able to run very fast, guys. Look, oh, she's super slow. All right, the sun is descending behind the mountain in the background. She's got a little bit of time before the greed show up. A little bit of time. All right, Sally's giving us some coins. Beautiful. And yeah, if you've never played this game before, it's important to note that uh, when you chop down trees, in front of your walls, there will start to uh, be some tall grass that grows, which produces these little bunny rabbits, which you can use to get coins from. But if you build walls, inside of your walls, the grass will disappear and the animals will also disappear with it, making it harder to farm money. So you always wanna keep, keep in mind how fast you're advancing and how many trees you're chopping down so you can get a steady supply of innocent furry little creatures of the forest, which you can slaughter to get a lot of sweet cash flow going. All right, let's get this other kid. Oops, dropped an extra coin, my bad. All right, looks like it does take the kids a little while to uh, come out of their cabins. What is this right here? Nothing? Looks like it's nothing, all right. All right, I, I, I assume the greed are done for the night, so let's get on over here chop down some more trees if we can got one right there got one right there got one right there another right there i'm liking it i'm feeling it i'm digging it what was this chick's name again i do not remember all right our little builders are going at it Gotta love it, gotta love it. So there's a fishing shack. What if we expand right here then? Can we capture the fishing shack? I assume that's how it works. And then can we put these kids to work doing some fishing? Man, I, I absolutely despised fishing as a kid. And I'm gonna be honest, as a grown ass adult man, I'm still not the biggest fan of fishing to be honest with you. Now, if you, if you were... You were to give me a spear gun or maybe some dynamite? That'd be a whole different scenario, guys. Although for legal for legal reasons, I should probably point out that it is not legal to use dynamite for fishing. You will go to prison. All right, stand here. Kids can do chores to earn coins. Oh. -ho -ho! Oh, are they gonna pick berries? Oh, this is awesome! And we can make them fish. Alrighty, are they just gonna do this on a regular interval? On a regular basis? Man, we are, we are putting these kids to work, guys. No child labor laws in sight, it feels good. And these kids have to give me taxes as well. And the best thing about it, they're not even allowed to vote. <laughs> they're doing work paying taxes and they don't even have a say in how I run my kingdom here, guys. You gotta love it. Tyranny at its finest. But you know what? Lucky for them, I'm a benevolent lord. 
I'm a giving lord. All right, let's try to herd this deer back to his slaughter, to his demise. He probably has some family he's trying to... Oh, well, Sally, you got to do it. No, that wasn't Sally. That was Timmy. Tim, you got to do a little bit, little bit better at your, uh, your bowmanship there, bud. All right, well, that deer lives for another day. All right, sun's going down. Ooh, they're getting coins from fishing. Look at her. She's going. Sandra is doing it. Sandra, get those fish. Oh, Brock is fishing as well. Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. All right, this guy's getting all the uh, the berries. All right, come on, kiddos. Come on. Okay, she is taking her taking her sweet time. All right, little darling, come on. Could you pick up the pace? Jeez. My God. We got a beautiful half moon in the sky. Nice, clear, not foggy at all. Oh, here they come. Slaughter them, boys. Take them out. Remember, I am playing on hard difficulty, so this will be a little more difficult than the game was intended for the generic experience. All right, let's get these trees out of the way. These disgusting, beautiful trees. Chop them down. All right, uh, let's have them do that. Let's go to the left side. Collect some coins, some taxes from these little guys. See, we're teaching these guys some valuable life lessons. We are preparing them for adulthood. I'm just doing my duty. I'm doing the job their parents should be doing. But their parents are slacking, man. Their parents are slacking. Where are their parents anyway? Bunch of deadbeats. I don't know. They're probably in some weird purple cocoon. Captured by the greed. I don't know. Something like that. That's my theory anyway. I guess we'll find out. All right. We got to start expanding on this side with these little gentlemen as well. Start right there. By the way, I like how there's some like giant like redwood or oak trees in the background. Even after you destroy the forest, it's cool. Keeps a lot of nice little scenery around, you know? I like it. I like it. All right, we got to keep recruiting little dudes more often. There's some more little homies we can get over here as well. This guy wants his trophy. He's just being a little whiner about it. You need to get over it, bud. It's just a trophy. It's just a materialistic item. It doesn't define you. You are not your trophy, my guy. You're not your trophy, champ. You got to stand on your own two feet. Get some soda in our gut. Yes. Fueled up, ready to rock, ready to roll. All right, they're hard at work. Sun's about halfway in the sky. We got plenty of time for the day. Let's get our taxes from these fools. Beautiful, the trees are disappearing. What day is it? It is day five. By the way, guys, can we customize our emblem? We can. Yes. Let's do it. All right, what do we got here? We got roller skates, a greed enemy, a, a unicorn, swords, like a moon or whatever. Little gremlin guy, little dude from uh, that arcade game. Got a heart. <laughs> Pac-Man, dude. They are going retro as hell. Spaceship, UFO, floppy disk, boombox, a arcade game, a Game Boy. Oh, is that another, another boombox? Huh. We can change the color as well. They got red, oh, blood red, crimson. Can we go black background? Oh, beautiful. Is that the emblem that we want, though? Yeah, that's probably the best. Let's see. Kind of like the star. 
Cool. All right, so you can still customize your emblem and stuff and things. I like it. Oh, it changes your dude's hair color as well. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. I'm picking it up. Alright, we got more berries there. What is this? Is this like an outhouse area? Oh, wait, no, it's like a swimming pool area. This is a, uh, little changing rooms and a, uh, lifeguard little stand right there. Cool, and we got a ladder going down. It's not a swimming pool, it's a lake. <laughs> Why did I say swimming pool? Alright, kids can do more chores. What, what are they doing right here? What is this? A kitchen? It's got, there's like a fork and a knife and a plate on this sign right here. I assume it has something to do with food. Man, we are gonna have ourselves a self-sustaining little nation of children. They're doing it. They're doing it. Yeah, it's a little makeshift kitchen. Right on, guys. They can cook some stuff at a fire right here. Beautiful. All right, you can see our nice new little flag right there. Looks cool. Looks kick-ass, right? I like it. All right, I assume, guys, just like the previous games, I assume that on, what is it, every... Probably on day seven, we're probably going to have a horde night, where there's going to... Or a blood moon, rather. Where there's going to be a bunch of bad homies. So we're going to need to get our walls pumped up a bit more here. Let's get our wall expanded right there, shall we? Is that kid recruited? They are not. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if the kids are recruited. All right, let's continue chopping down more trees. Let's go hire a little bit, or a little bit, a few more little kiddos over here. There she is. Is this another one right here? This looks like a, no, this looks like a, uh, a, a totally different type of cabin. Is that a... Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees Ski Mask, or, uh, not Ski Mask, uh, what's that game? Hockey. <laughs> That's the word. Hockey Mask. Oh, it's day six, and it's red. So it looks like the Blood Moon is coming tonight, gentlemen. We should prepare thyselves for the coming horde. All right, let's get as many coins as we can, buff up these walls to the max. All right, let's upgrade that wall. Let's put some kids to work right there. I wonder what side they're gonna come from. She's working, she's doing work. She's toiling away in the kitchen. Yeah, it's like a weird, like, two-second delay or something before I can buy more bows. It's very awkward feeling. Don't know why that's a thing. Anyway, let's go over here, get some more coins from these homies. And it looks like you only need to put coins into the job locations one time. And then they just keep on doing it over and over. Oh, yes, dude, we're getting all the hot coinage now. Oh, we are going to be drowning in the money, guys. We're going to be able to buy so many jawbreakers with all this money. All right, we're not able to upgrade our walls because we don't have that other kid, the other teenager. That's a bummer. All right, let's go see if we can upgrade that wall on the left side before the sun goes all the way down. It is quickly descending. Right, we got a couple bucks from uh, a little kitchen girl there. Beautiful. This guy's working the lake. This kid's uh, <laughs> this kid is not only a builder, but he's a lifeguard as well. Gotta love it. Oops. All right. So he's upgrading that wall. That's as far as we can upgrade it until we can upgrade the camp. Let's recruit that little lady right there. Ooh, got some red lightning. All right, where's this kid's trophy? Where's this dweeb's trophy at? And why can he not get it himself? All right, 
Let's not put any money into that guy just yet. <gasps> oh. Ooh. All right, I don't know what side the wave is coming from. It could be coming from both sides, but typically it only comes from one side early on in the game. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I have quite a few coins in my coin... <gasps> Spooky. In my coin pouch, so I could help defend that way. There's no archers over here. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Oh, my God. If any enemies come from this side, I'll just drop some coins down so they can pick up the coins and then run away. But it looks like they're probably coming from the right side. Since I don't see any guys over here yet, and the moon is already almost gone. Alright, we need to be recruiting more guys per day. I'm, I'm kind of slacking on that right now. Alright, let's go. Oop. All tuckered out. Beautiful. All right, we need more archers, and let's see if they did any damage over here, guys. Just hired another guy. All right, day seven. Oh, they did destroy the wall, but we are rebuilding it. Not a problem. Anyway, guys, it's past 30 minutes. I usually like to keep these episodes rather short and easily digestible for you. So uh, we're going to go ahead and end the first episode off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, a thumbs up and a subscription would be mucho excelente. And I will see you fine folks in the next one.